Now you use multiple cameras on this film. Yeah, I mean, but I think like a lot of cameras, more than two or three. <laughs> um, how many did you use? Uh, we had about 30 cameras on this, um, uh, but broken down, you'll find that there were six basic production cameras, uh, four of the smaller Alexa M's, if you know them. They came off uh, Roger Deakin's Skyfall as prototypes, and we managed to get them. Uh, then we had about a dozen Canon 5D still cameras, um, a variety, eight to 10 Nikon 800s, some Olympus cameras, some Blackmagic cameras, and we smashed them all. <laughs> now, you know, sometimes I watch a film and I think, God, it looks like it was a fun movie to make. This one actually does not look like it was fun to make. It looks like it was really difficult to make. Well, that's the brilliance of sound editors and, uh, and, uh, and uh, film editors because the actual shooting of it was very controlled, had to be. And you can see with the stunts and the activity of actors and stuntmen, uh, they're in a precarious situation a lot of the time, a very dangerous situation. And George, being a doctor, is, uh, is paramount about safety. Uh, so uh, the whole thing was worked out so carefully uh, with storyboards. There were 3,500 storyboards made up that film. And they, we followed them to about, I think, about 80% accuracy off the storyboards. But, and that was because the stunt coordinator, Guy Norris, a brilliant man, um, had to create the activities and the choreography of stuntmen and the actual stunts, which were all live stunts. Had to create them uh, very accurately to those storyboards so that the camera knew exactly what was going to happen. There was no uh, what-if system, which we have in a lot of films, where it's what if we do this, what if we do that. That couldn't happen on Mad Max. It had to be very regulated for safety. So a lot of the film is, as, as Mark has already said, same with sound editing, film editing is the same. We put together um, millions of shots, basically. There was uh, 400 hours of film recorded for the making of Fury Road, and there were only two hours used. Um, so Margaret Sixall, our editor, is blaming me forever. 